Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you. Yes, I do. I've got stuff on my coffee table too, but we're not ready to decorate yet. But we're getting there. I've got some coffee, because that's how I roll. Um, this is a little bit of a scattered all over the place kind of haul, but you know, we're gonna have some fun. So no particular order. Let's get into it. I got one of these. I actually wanted a smaller one, but they didn't have it in stock. Um, I have one of these in my fridge holding some sweetener, but I, I bought a five gallon bucket of paint when I did my house and I've got some left. I don't know how much. So I'm thinking maybe it'll go in here. I just want to get it out of the five gallon jug and keep it for touch up paints. But I think there's less than this. So I grabbed another container too. Let me get my feet under control here. I've got stuff literally everywhere. So we'll see, I've got this one. If not, I will use that. But I also then picked up on the other end of the spectrum, and boy, did they wrap this up in a lot of plastic. Um, I just grabbed a small mason jar. I know these have airtight lids. I'm thinking this is about how much paint I have left, but you wanna keep it for any kind of touching up that will need to be done. So I'm gonna pour it into a thing and then into one of these two. Cause these aren't on the opposite ends of the spectrum, but it's what they had that were, I think, airtight. So we have that. Um, and then I have a lot of bags. Okay, I found at my store two of these carvable pumpkins. They're styrofoam, but they're fun to craft with. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet, but I thought I would just grab two to have in case, um, you know, inspiration strikes and I wanna be able to make sure I have them. To, create something, right? Let's see. Oh, and I did pick up, I only saw one of these at my store. It's the fall little crafters bottle, but I like it because it has the copper lid on it. I, again, what am I doing with this? I don't know. Everything small, I'm just going to say tiered tray because I just bought one and everything I'm buying is for that, but it's not all going to go on there. But something will happen with this, I think. Maybe I'll fill it full of all the bones I bought. I don't know, but I like the copper. Yeah. I like this copper lid a lot. And it's pretty sturdy. It's got a good lid on it. Again, I don't really know what's going to happen. They're showing it turned into like a scarecrow on here, but that just ruins. I mean, you don't see the copper. Why would I want to? I don't know. We'll see. Also, it will be good just for craft storage, like beads and things, but I grabbed one of those because I saw it. Um, I found this interesting stuff, and they may have had it before, but I've never seen it. It's the original super glue, right? Super glue, but this is mounting strips or mounting tape, and it comes on a roll, and you get four feet of it. It says it works on frames, tile, and much more. We're gonna try it at some point. I grabbed two, I've just never seen this before. And I don't think this is Greenbrier because Super Glue is a name brand. So I just grabbed two of them. I thought we could craft with it or do something. I have on my um, craft cart, which I will take you on a tour of, all my adhesives on one shelf. And I'll just stick this with that. And when I go to do a craft, Typically, I evaluate all of the adhesive that I have and decide which is best for that project. Right, right. Um, I found one more of these. This actually makes a sphere, a sphere, a circle, guys. It makes a circle. And it has the little pieces in here that you hold it together with. But I'm thinking it might be kind of interesting if I could try to find a way to utilize the um, that burlap deco tubing that I got somehow incorporated into this. I don't know, but 
but we'll see. It can be put together. They had this size at my store and the larger, but I thought smaller is going to be better in this situation because I have no idea what I'm even going to do with it. But it makes a circle. See? A ball. And, yeah. I mean, I don't... I'm definitely not making that flower thing with the fake grass. It could almost be cute at Christmas, like weave garland around it. Hanging outside? I don't know. It was a dollar. I bought one. Or you could take it apart and just use the rings. But we have that for now. I finally found these, which is just some greenery. Uh, it just says rub on transfer. I'm thinking this is like eucalyptus type stuff for spring. I'll keep it till next spring to do something fun with. I did grab two. Um, because it's just the one sheet but i think this would be fun for some spring decor next year so i'll stick it in with my stickers and my crafting ideas but i wanted to grab it while i saw it in store and i'm really enjoying like these rub-on letters i'm really enjoying this rub-on prop uh product so i grabbed two and i have um some containers that just have all my stickers and stuff another bag guys i really need to start bringing my own bags but i'm not sure is it time yet do people let you or am i allowed to bring my own bags to stores i just feel like i have a lot of junk going on here and i really would like it if i had um a bag okay i got some hair masks for me this one is freeman brand which and it's nourishing chamomile i feel like i used this one before and it had like peppermint in it or eucalyptus or something oh my gosh it tingled so good on my scalp um so i grabbed one of these and then i got this is hask brand and this is argon oil um, but there's a lot in here and i don't have a lot of hair so i'm thinking i could get three masks out of this and then probably two out of this one but i, I like to do a hair mask um, i use a lot of product and i blow dry my hair every day so i go these like to keep a couple of those on hand and I was out I found something interesting and these are Wilton I think yeah Wilton they are like silicone molds for candy but you can also use these for um, like resin or anything really they're just silicone molds and then I got the hearts which I think will be fun for Valentine's Day but yeah, and this one, the little one has the matching hearts, and then it has some dinosaurs and some, I don't know. I think these are for children, but yeah, Nerdy Nummies. Embrace your inner nerd with Rosanna Pacino, the host and creator of the internet's most popular baking show, Nerdy Nummies. I don't know. So I grabbed them for a dollar. You can even put like plaster of Paris in here and make stuff. So I just thought it would be fun. And if not, I'll pass it off to my cousins and they can make some like gummy fruits or something. Fun, fun, fun. Um, here's a boring thing. I got a squirt bottle. Why? Well, I thought um, to make cleaning solution in. I think actually I'm giving it to my niece for her classroom because they have cleaning product but they couldn't get a hold of some spray bottles so I'll send it to, to her and then she can use it in her classroom because she has to clean in between classes spray down her desks and stuff so she can mix any type of so cleaning solution in here and have it and put her name on it or something I don't know I told her I would pick her up one and it holds a lot it holds 650 milliliters. Oh, it even has dilution measure. So you fill it like it tells you on the side here um, how to dilute it. Like if it's a one-to-one -one product or a two-to-one, it has the mark. You can't see it, but there's markings on there. So I thought that was fun and she needed it, so I grabbed it. For the pets, okay. Don't come at me, people, but I'm starting Christmas shopping. I'm sorry, it's, it's August, we're almost in September. I'm starting Christmas shopping, and um, in my family, we buy for pets. Everybody's pets gets presents. So I found these, they are deli stick turkey for dogs, 100% natural, no nitrate, 
or nit nitrites, no nitrates or nitrites, sore free, made in the USA. And they're like a turkey Slim Jim for dogs. So I grabbed two because I have two dogs in my family. And for Luna, we'll cut it up. And for Jody, she'll just eat it. Um, my cousin Debbie's dogs, they don't eat a lot of treats. They eat their food and they get like carrots and vegetables and stuff. But I'll get them something different. But for Jody and Luna, they get treats. So I grabbed one of each. They were a dollar. And then I got one more of these balls. And just so you know, the cousin who has the two German Shepherds are super chewers. And they have not broken these balls yet. And they have, they have two of them. They have a red one and this blue one. And these are sturdy. They hold up to them very well. So as I see fun little pet stuff, I just pick it up for the cat dogs. And I have a cat. My sister-in-law and brother have a cat, so she'll get some treats but and toys. But it just I'll leave it in one of these bags and in my craft room. And as I shop, I will just put the pet toys. And I have some already from last year that I need to pull out that I bought on clearance for them. So there's that. Yes, and there's some other things in here for Christmas presents. It's time. Um, I picked up a picture hanging kit. I've used these quite frankly a lot. They have all the different tools that you need to hang pictures and we know I just painted and I need to hang some more things and I prefer these over sticking um, the screws and stuff as long as you know weight in the stuff that I have is not super heavy and I also needed the little screws here the little eye screws. Um, I picked up a picture a framed picture for fall and it has the two saw hooks on it and I don't want to use those so I'm going to hang this wire between and put the little eye hooks so it can hang from one hanger device and not two so I need that for now because that's for now guys I found one more of these so I grabbed it like I said I just pick them up when I see them and I might put some hot chocolate mix in one of these for my little cousins. I thought that would be fun, but we'll see. Or make them like a little hot chocolate bar with one full of candy, one full of hot cocoa, or a big one full of hot cocoa and these full of like crushed up peppermints and chocolate chips and marshmallows. Like that would be fun for the kids. So I grabbed one more. Um, I grabbed this little owl, which don't look at its eyes because I think he's creepy. He's like looking in your soul. But I liked his coloring, or hers, I don't know the difference. But I thought, say it with me, tiered tray, because I got one. So I thought that is super cute, little owl. And they had them in different colors, and you can paint these, but I wouldn't. I'm not going to paint that one, but you can. Um, I did find in the craft section, and I grabbed two of these. And these are called high cloche domes and they open up and you can decorate i'm going to save these for the christmas season however am i the only one that thinks of beauty and the beast when you see this like i feel like i just need to stick a rose in it and call it decorated i don't know but i like that they are showing it with like fairy lights in there i grabbed two because i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do with them I can do something for halloween I mean, I don't know, but these are going to be Christmas decor, something, something. Maybe we'll make snow globes. I don't know. But I grabbed two because I saw them. And there were the people who were grabbing them. And I was like, oh, I need those because everybody else has them. I don't, but whatever. I found in the, like, bathing section, these are antibacterial wipes, guys. Like, that's a commodity right now. And they're made with benzoclonium chloride. And that's the antibacterial portion. And they are good for, um, kills germs for hands and face, moisturizing formula, convenient and portable. So I grabbed two, not that we're allowed to go anywhere, but I feel like if I am allowed to travel at some point, this is perfect for backpacks to not only wipe my hands and stuff, but maybe surfaces before I touch it. I don't know, I just like the thought of having some antibacterial wipes on hand. And then I also found some Clorox ones. Um, and this is disinfecting wipes. It says it kills 99.9%. .9%. I wonder what the active ingredient is in here. 
Uh, let's see. I think it's bleach. I don't know, but I'm going to tell you, it feels like there's a lot of liquid at the bottom. So I'm not putting this in my purse, but maybe in my car for quick cleanups or any type of time that I need to be freshened up or antibacterial. So I grabbed three of these. It's not like they go bad or anything. I'm assuming they would, oh, here we go. It's bleach free. Uh, yeah, this is benzo aluminum. So I'm assuming they're similar ingredients. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty much the same ingredient. So I grabbed three packs just to have. I'm throwing my car, throwing my purse. If I'm out and about, I just want to have some options. And if I need a quick cleanup, I like having these. And then their antibacterial makes them just better. Because I used to travel with just wet wipes, a little pack of wet wipes, and they were fantastic. I will tell you another thing to travel with if you're going like, and I'm not just saying like a day trip, but if you're going on vacation and you're out and about, especially in another country maybe, and there's, you know, questionable if there's going to be toilet paper. I'm not saying that we're the only people with toilet paper, but I'm just saying when I'm out and about traveling, I get to like um, cotton nail toilet paper wipes and put them in my backpack because I've been stuck before in a bathroom where there was no toilet paper and any in here it's not fun I'm just saying let's get real so having wipes is not new to me this whole antibacterial thing although I wouldn't wipe with any of these these are not toilet paper people these are not toilet paper these are not toilet paper plus they could clog toilets these are hands and face wipes the cottonelle that's toilet paper I'm just throwing it out there because sometimes people get confused just saying Okay, I grabbed this little box, the drawer thingy, which I'll probably take this out. So, have I mentioned I'm obsessed with my tear tray and I'm obsessed with risers. I'm trying to get different height things and I thought this would be one that I could use and paint because they didn't have the solid block. So I'll just take this drawer front out, paint it, and it can just sit like that, right? Right? I think so. So I grabbed that and then I also grabbed these as risers. They're just little um, desk accessories, but it'll probably get painted black just to kind of make it nondescript. And I can put pumpkins on here. I can put candles, Christmas trees. So just little different height of risers. They also look like in the circus what the tigers used to stand on. I'm just saying. I know they're not, and we don't do the circus anymore, but that's what they look like to me. They can also glue them together and make something. I don't something Halloween cagey, but I'm going to use them as risers. I could also use them on my mantle as risers too. Oh, I just scratched myself. I found this little, and I mean little, guys, this is tiny, but you know what it will be perfect for? A succulent. So I'm going to plant one of my succulents in here because I think that would be perfect. I might even like darken up the lipstick, maybe, I don't know, but it's super cute. And it will be perfect for a little succulent. So that is what I plan to do with it. And then stick it on a windowsill because it's adorable. But it's tiny. This is not holding makeup brushes. I mean, I don't have one near me. But I don't, I'm just saying it's not going to hold that kind of stuff. But it's cute. It would hold Q-tips and cotton balls though. So I grabbed that. Um, I picked up four Christmas presents. As I said, we're starting that. These books, guys, Sudoku, yeah, Sudoku, 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 and some word searches. I mean, these are nice books. If you know somebody who enjoys doing puzzles, these may go to the same person. I may separate them, um, put a nice pen with it, and then maybe a coffee gift card. I mean, these would be great office co-worker gifts or stocking stuffers. I know my niece loves this. Um, Sudoku, whatever it's called. Sudoku. 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 She likes it. I know people who like these. So I And the packaging. It's all about the pretty packaging. So for one shiny dollar, now these are Crown Jewels brand. We've seen this before at Dollar Tree. It is not a Dollar Tree brand. 
but these would be great for Christmas gifts or birthday presents or advent calendars or anything. Birthday card, put it with a birthday and put a gift card with it and a nice pen. That's what I'm planning to use them for. So these will go in my gift bag, my gift box. That's over here right now with the pet stuff. Things like that are great for easy, last minute, quick, inexpensive gifts for friends and family that you know will get appreciated. I'm just saying, let's fix the bangs. Thank you. Okay, then I think the last, should be the last, this is the last of it, is Halloween stuff. I'm not a huge Halloween person, but I like some cute things. So I did grab this little sign because I think it's totally adorable. And I think it's high, it's higher quality than some of the ones I've seen. It's solid. It will stand. The bow's got to go. I'm not sure why we have to stick a bow on everything, but it's going to come off. It's already coming off. Um, but now I have to get some brown touch-up paint or something because it took the cardboard with it. I will fix it. It was coming off anyway. And there is glitter. I may um, scrape the glitter off and just paint it. We'll see. But I really like this sign that says trick or treat. <gasps> Maybe I'll put a little spider up there. That would be cute. I, like I said, I've got orange paint. I've got brown paint. I may just touch it up. But there's that one. I thought it was adorable. It's not overly large. It'll be cute, like on a little shelf, or corner, or tray, whatever. Super cute. I picked up this. I just think it's adorable. It's not overly big, but I think for Halloween it'll be fun to hang somewhere. And look at the legs. I love striped lit stockings. And I just think that's adorable little decoration. We may have a little Halloween something. If the kids can't have trick or treat, maybe we can have a little party for them. I don't know but I thought this was adorable and it was in the party section actually not with the Halloween stuff but it definitely is a Halloween decoration so I thought it was cute so I grabbed that for my house oh I didn't see that I'll fix it um I grabbed this sign it's this you know trick-or-treat happy Halloween haunted houses jack-o-lanterns foil and trouble cobwebs and black um, and that's a little aluminum pumpkin. If you see, I should have paid attention, but I can touch it up or not and just sit it out because it's just up for a couple weeks. But I liked this sign a lot. Cute. There is glitter. The orange is all glitter. So it'll need to be sprayed. And then the last thing I picked up, and they had it in this black and silver, and then they also had it in that, I, can't, I don't know what it's called, but it almost looks like a rainbow it's very colorful and it's just a skull like cup I'm assuming it's for kids but I'm telling you when you're giving out candy put an adult beverage in it it has a little straw I mean I would say this would hold a nice adult beverage I wish it would tell me how many ounces it is it does not it just says tumbler with straw uh, wash it first hand wash only made in China but I just think these are super cute. Even for the kids, you know, for Halloween or whatever, you can put their little drink in it. I'm gonna put my adult drink in it. Yeah, I thought it was cute. You can set it out, but I think it'll be fun to have a drink. Now, I will tell you one thing is difficult is holding it. It's like slippery and there's no good place to like hold it. So it's gonna be a two-fister for the little kids, but it's cute. I like it. So I grabbed that just to put with the Halloween stuff. Because I did purge a lot. I don't have a lot of Halloween stuff. So I grabbed a couple things. Um, this one I would consider disposable. I would consider this disposable. I'm not going to keep it around after it's done. I may give it to somebody who has a child. It may not even make it to Halloween. Who knows? Um, but I am obsessed with this. Not going to lie. It's super cute. Other than it, the bow. Again with the bows. But I'll fix it. That is everything, everybody. I hope you enjoyed and you find some good treasures yourself. And if you could, like, subscribe. I need to start saying that at the beginning, right? <laughs> I guess I should start saying that at the beginning. But please do, and I hope you have a great day, and I will talk with you later. Bye.